G'day guys, so this is another old idea that I had back when the game was still pretty young. This base was under siege a couple times and after putting this sniper tower up I had the idea to point the directional lamps back towards the slit so you could snipe out without being seen. And it does work, so this is during the day. It actually gets worse the more you zoom in. And it's not too intrusive when you're up in the sniper position. And as you'd expect, the effect is amplified during the night. It turns into a lighthouse. Anyway, but this is back before we had tech lights. Unlocking tech lights opens up a lot more possibilities. They're a brighter and more dense light source. So my tribe mate Wyatt built this big chandelier type defence with about 30 heavy turrets on it. And probably to his dismay I told him I was going to make it disappear. So using angled reflectors I was able to white out the entire structure with only a few lights around the bottom. So it stops the enemy seeing what turrets are shooting, what ones are drained, if you're refilling bullets and if you're sniping out from that position. So I'm sitting right in the middle of it here and the light isn't that bad. There is a bit of reflection back off the hatch frames. So anyway, arc physics don't follow real world physics. So interestingly, snapped on structures both transmit and reflect light. Without any loss. So what this means is you can stack reflectors to amplify the light. So the light is coming up and passing straight through the slope ceilings but also being reflected by them. And the same is true for walls. So as I said, using that principle we can amplify the light. And also important to know is you can't reflect a reflection. So in the real world that'll bounce off the first reflector onto the second and straight into the ground. But that doesn't happen. Anyway, so that's enough of an intro. Let's build a reflector turret tower. So I we'll call this the petal reflector. It's a fairly easy one to build. And it shines a lot of light over a good angle for a relatively small structure. So you'll need three foundations pointing the direction that you want the light to be reflected. Now two walls up off the first foundation. A ceiling forward. A ceiling to the back. Out to the side. Forward. Side. And do the same on the other side. Now a couple of fence foundations running down the side of that back ceiling. And now two more fence foundations on each side, angled at 45 degrees. So if you just look at it and hit the snap point cycling button, you'll eventually find it. There's going to be a hell of a lot of snap points though, so you might as well cycle through a lot before you get to it. And now the same on the other side. Extend it out one more.
Okay, after that drama's over. You'll need three more walls up. And two ceilings out from the top. And one out from the middle. Now you can place the top of the reflectors. As well as the side ones. And those ceilings you placed earlier, they can all go now. The fence foundations will stay there now. Box in the back, that's where our generator will go. Place some sloped walls along the bottom. And now before you box this in, you're going to have to place some tech lights down along the foundations. I'll just place three down. The top and bottom reflector are more efficient than the side ones. And fill it in with slope ceilings. Okay, so now up the top we've got to put three tech lights up there as well. Generally speaking, the longer the line of lights that you make, the wider the angle of the reflection that it will create. So now you can just slap some along the sides and in the centre. You could build a wall out around the sides like you did the top and back to let the light transmit through the sides as well which would probably be more efficient but I've never actually done that. So I'll put five along the sides and five in the centre, which may be a little bit overkill, but it works. Okay, so now just slap in the generator at the back. A vertical cable and an outlet. Make sure you can still access it, which is sometimes difficult through these doors. And then, rather annoyingly, you have to turn on every light. So you might want to slap a door in the side there.
And now that they're all on, we can go back and check the reflector ability. Which does vary based on location and the time of day. So make sure you try this in single play before you go slap it down on your base to make sure it works the way you want it to. The one map it doesn't seem to work well on is Ragnarok, which seems to have different light settings. So you can see you can put a lot of distance between you and that light and it'll still be blinding. And the reason for the pedal type design is it holds that over quite a good angle. Anyway, so now to make it a turret tower, just slap down some large hatch frames and slap some turrets on it. But anyway, here's one that I built earlier. It's the same structure, a few modifications. There's a window in the centre to try and snipe out of, but it's too bright in there. So you can see how I place the giant hatch frames here. While keeping it all in range of that single outlet. I did put some plants in there too. Protected by that giant hatch frame. It's a really tight fit to get those in. I had to push them out slightly so they'd fit. Anyway, so let's turn it on. So I'll run back out of turret range. The further you go away, the worse it gets for you. You might notice this is a white light where the other one was pinkish. That's just the location on AB. Sometimes it gets pink, sometimes it gets white. I don't know why. And the view from behind, so it's a good directional light. There's not much reflection coming back. I'm not going to pretend it's very good to snipe out of the... Okay, what else have we got to look at? <laughs> These ones I put on a Bronto. I tried to design something that would work on them, but... It's not something I'd actually do in practice. And then this one's on a Parasur. This one's actually not that bad. Not that I'd do it. Not in an official game anyway. And this was a bit of an attempt at a wall section. So there's a lot of interesting ways to use the tech lights and protect them. In this case I put them on top of a pillar and then placed another pillar on top. So it's in the junction of the two pillars. And this is a way overbuilt wall section. It is probably the brightest structure I've built though. 
This was an experiment to foundation the lights in, so I laid it down on a lowered foundation and then laid a higher foundation over the top. At least on some of them, just to see if it would work, which it did. So this is stacked reflectors, so they're amplifying the light, and there's only two lights in it. Works well if you're approaching straight towards it, but not if you're above it. And now this is two petal reflectors, like the ones we built earlier. So it's just on a barrier wall. And on this side I actually added railing as protection. Another experiment that I wanted to try was to add a cage of bats in front of a light, which the flapping wings would create a flickering light, so it would have a more disorientating effect. And yet another pedal reflector, but this one was built down from a cliff platform, so it hangs from the ceiling. This is another pedal reflector, but built on the centre map, one of the tropical islands. So as I said, different maps, different locations have different lighting settings. So it won't necessarily work everywhere. But here it works well. Another petal reflector, but this time on the island. So this is Herb Island. So five in the morning and throughout the night it works well. And at midday it's still working, you can't scope in and it's practically invisible against the sky. And yeah, five in the afternoon, it's about the same. <laughs> Invisible. So you can see this big reflect has both a turret tower and a sniping tower built into it. So the lights don't affect the visibility going out, but you can't see in. So that's most of the pedal reflectors that I've built. Um, I have built a 360 degree one, but that's more of an exercise in silliness. Anyway, again this video has gone for ages, so I'm going to leave it there. There is other designs that I've used, um, mainly like sniper towers rather than turret towers. But if anyone's interested in that, I'll put that in another video, if anyone wants.